starter fertilizers, and they're generally higher in phosphorus than nitrogen or potassium. And so the concept is, well, during establishment, there's a high demand for phosphorus because the application of phosphorus has been shown to increase establishment rate and so forth, and so they need a little extra phosphorus. I think that's a bad argument. There are clearly cases in the literature where the application of phosphorus can hasten establishment, um, but there's clear evidence in the literature to the contrary. Even if phosphorus does hasten establishment, is that really necessary? If it is, let, let's say you're, you're in sod production, or let's say you're in sport turf, and you're constantly having to regrow grass in, and the establishment of the grass, say on, let's take on sport turf, and you have tens of millions of dollars worth of athletes on the grass, and you need a thick, dense grass just so it constantly regrows back in, so the safety of the player is, the risk is reduced for them to be injured, then that's very important. In other words, the rate of regrowth is extremely important in those cases. But for a home lawn, you're only going to gain 10 or 15% increased establishment. So ask yourself, do I, okay, well, phosphorus may be needed in this case, but does my client really need it? Do I need to put this down or is it going to grow in anyway without it? If your client says, no, I must have it quickly. And the coach says, no, you must grow this in quickly. The safety of the players is paramount. Then so be it. Okay. But in, in, unless you have a good reason for a very, very fast establishment, I would ask people to think critically about, you know, do you actually need to apply this?